This is nice. Uh oh! It's like the title sequence of Friends. Yeah, except there's two of us. And one, and of, one us of us is brown. Is brown. <laughs> I think probably the hardest challenge was Peru, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It was the only one I shat myself on. It was also the only one where we almost died. Yeah. If, if within a week you shit, shit yourself, yourself and almost died, die, that is the hardest one. It's a hard week. Yeah. You guys, you go. You go. you go to bed. Nish, this is one of the worst experiences of my life. I don't even know where my stick is. OK, Nish, we need to... Um, uh, what do I do with alarm? I don't know! It was one of my favourite things I think that's ever happened in my life. Where what happens at the start of every episode is we have this beautiful expanse and incredible view of where we are. And I went, where are we, Nish? And he went, we're in Peru, Joel. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh. And I just ran off Definitely doing number twos in the bushes. In the bushes. Where the... Uh... Where the heck in the world are we, Nish? What do you do when the pilot announces the destination of where we're flying to? Oh, I just pop on my noise cancelling headphones. I don't, I don't even watch the uh, oh, safety. God. Oh, shit. Are you sure? I need the toilet. Fuck. Is there, does anyone have a toilet roll? Oh, fuck. <laughs> just literally... Is there a toilet in here? No, of course not. It's just an abandoned house. Fucking hell. It was cataclysmic diarrhea. Yeah. I did not keep any food down or indeed up yep. for 48 hours. And it then became known as Puru for Puru. the entirety of the And then I had to, uh, and then we went on a hike. And then we went, and then on, we a went on a hike and nearly died. <laughs> because that's what you want. When you've got extreme diarrhea, when you're like, oh, should we live off a mountain for yeah, two yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my stomach is currently misbehaving. I don't want to give you too much information, but it is basically Niagara Falls down there. Good God. It's like something out of Willy Wonka. The last one I did, honestly, you could have drowned Augustus Gloop in that chocolate river. You had a llama. I had a llama. I was looking after a llama on and off camera. <laughs> Just in case you think, oh, maybe Joel didn't have the llama when they weren't filming. I held on to that llama for two days. I think one of my favorite moments of the whole series was at one point, I just heard you go, can someone else please take this fucking llama? <laughs> yeah, it was, that was the moment where I finally snapped. <laughs> when I was trying to get over a torrent of river <laughs> with a effing llama. That was probably the hardest moment. It just was all marshy and I had to like jump through a river in pitch black. I mean, I feel so broken right now. Unbelievably broken. I had probably three breakdowns. And I cried twice. Not now, mate. Seriously, not now. What's your favourite moment of the trip, Nish? My favourite moment of the trip was all the moments where I wasn't passing stool in my trues. <laughs> <laughs> where you had, a, where you had a, a firm... Where I had a know. firm grasp on my anus. <laughs> where I had a f good, firm hold on the old sphincter. <laughs> um, my favourite moment... It's hard to say, there were a few really good moments. Yeah, the ride out was great. The ride out in Argentina. The Cowboys. Fantastic. We learned how to ride horses. We did learn how to ride a horse. We went, Argentina was, there was a, there's a real arc to that episode. Mm. Because it really does start with us we, having no clue. Oh, shit! Oh. Oh, come on! It's testament really to Ricky's patience that eventually I did get a rough idea of how to stay on a horse. Yes, Nish, you look great. Yes, Anish. Move in. Move in. Slowly. We just, we started to get buried. Dali, dali. There was a moment where me and Nish dali. were sort of riding around the field. We were just sort of like cantering together, just sort of looking at each other lovingly in the eyes, you know, smiling, laughing. Oh my God, Nish, this is the most beautiful scene I've ever been involved in, in my life. <laughs> this is so romantic. Honestly, if this was a movie, we would have instantly gone home and boned. Off camera, Nish got thrown off a horse. <laughs> Off camera, you could tell the director was just like, oh my God, Nish, you okay? Oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? Were we filming that? <laughs> Were we filming that? <laughs> what was the lowest moment of the trip? 
perhaps I should return hmm. to shitting myself on a mountainside in Peru. Well, I think, yeah, yeah. I think my highest moment of my trip was watching Nish <laughs> yeah. shitting on a mountain in Peru. I, as I was crop spraying fecal matter across the side of a mountain mm -hmm. yeah. in yeah. Peru, I thought this may be the lowest moment of my entire life. Yeah. I think the low moment was definitely for, for, for us, certainly, and I think the crew um, was being stuck on a mountain in Peru at... We've, it really sounds like we're down on Peru. It's, it's a, a very good episode. It's a very good episode. Because, largely because it was a complete nightmare. It was, everything was against us. Yeah. It was just... Including was my body. Yeah. I was climbing a mountain at 5,000 meters and lighting the way with the torch on my <laughs> iPhone. That I'm just letting you know... <laughs> That was how low that moment was. <laughs> Didn't know that we were going to mention that. Yeah, that was... Thought, we were, thought we were going to save that with a meeting with the, the old production. The old health and safety guys. The old health and safety guys who forgot to pack head torches. Where's the guys who were supposed to save us? Oh, they're asleep. <laughs> they're asleep at the top of the mountain. It's just us and a llama. It's just us and a llama. And, and my ceaseless anus. <laughs> and I think we've got about an hour and a half left. We're going to be walking in the dark. We're going to be walking in the dark. That is inevitable at this point. Nailed on guarantee. Quick question, Ish. Yeah. Did you pack a torch? Because this guy absolutely did not. You better hope your phone has enough battery, Joe. Uh, I've been doing a lot of selfies with the llama, Nish. Oh, God. Today, it was a very dark day. Um, I mean, it was especially dark when it became night. Oh, shit. We've, uh... Still got, oh, the llama had an absolutely wonderful time. At no point was it needed. Why did I not use the llama? I, I cannot believe I suddenly picked a windswept rock face in Peru to discover the concept of pride. One of the things that yeah. we realised over the course of this is that when we're there for a week, all you end up picking up of the local, you don't pick up a huge amount of the local language. Because obviously you talk through, th through a translator. Generally, most of what we pick up is, hello, thank you, and sorry. Yeah. It's amazing how far you can get with those three words. Yeah, because those are the three words we need to say to most people. Yeah. Hi, thank you, sorry. Sometimes you get those three mixed up. And there was the, the Kodo drumming school. And we were all sat on our knees, and me and Nish were really like, <laughs> and yeah, we went, we go it's around. Right. Let me see if I can sit on this table. Like yeah. It's you have to keep your feet, you have to get your feet right under like that. And you sat like that, and we're all around in this yeah. circle having so a sat conversation. sat on your heels like that. I just don't know, genuinely don't know where it came from. Just a bit of flob. A bit of spit. A bit of spit just, just came from the middle of my throat, <laughs> and I spat. And I'm not talking about like spit, it's like proper, you know, it had the snot in it. It was like, it's a, I think it shows up on camera. And it just flew out of my mouth and smack bang in the middle of the circle of these really polite <laughs> Japanese teenagers. And then instead of saying sorry, I accidentally said thank you. <laughs> I felt like I was starting to be accepted into the group by the teacher and the students. And then I threw it all away. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I just spat. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It just came out of my face. And I was like, no. And it just like across the floor. Thank you, Joel. Oh, no, you sorry. just gobbed on the floor and said, thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. One, two, three, five. I'm Nish Kumar. <laughs> And I'm Joel Domit. Like, we're always <laughs> together. Once again, we're travelling the globe to take on some of the world's toughest challenges. That's the hardest day's work I've ever done, genuinely. You haven't even done a day. We are not prepared. From the sumos of Japan to the gauchos of Argentina. Uh, excuse me? We're learning what it takes to be real men. Stop <laughs> staring at my butt! <laughs> but this time, Nish won't just be laughing in my face. Oh, yeah. I get to laugh at him, too. <laughs> Ugh, I should have read the contract. Oh, damn it! I'd love to give you a hug, but I'm absolutely covered in sheep feces. Oh! I've been spending too much time with Domit. He's rubbing off on me. Won't be the first time. What just happened? You just did the twisty McTwist. You were there, you were almost high, you twisted her. 
probably the best thing that's ever happened in my life. We look dope as hell, mate. Me and you, cowboys and... Don't uh, say it. The brand-new series of Joel and Nish versus the world. Coming soon to Comedy Central.